yeah, we worked with this guy Dan Grek, and um, yeah, he, he just. I think we he, the vaccines record had just come out, and we were just absolutely um, in love with it. So the well, you know, he'd done lots of stuff with Radiohead and um, in Rainbows in particular, and, and um, also uh, the second Howling Bells record I particularly loved and had lots of fond memories of from listening to it on tour in like South America and this weird I don't know, weird little emotional connections I suppose that, that make you want to reach out to someone and he as luck would have it he was uh, uh, a massive keen fan as well so it felt like one of those things where there was a kind of um, a lot of enthusiasm and, and love already which is a great place to start tight, so tight. We've known Jesse for a while now, and um, we did a cover of Under Pressure for, for Radio 1, for one of their sort of anniversary type of things, and we thought, because we've always had bass on our records, and um, it sort of, um, normally we just ran it off a computer when we played live, but with Under Pressure, you know, because it's got pretty much the greatest bass riff of all time, it felt like we... Um, couldn't really cheat that one. So we knew Jesse was a, a brilliant all-round musician and we asked if he'd come and play and um, we all got on a, like a house on fire. We made it with um, a guy called Juan Antonio Beona, I got that right, um, who directed The Orphanage, which is a film that we all absolutely love. And there's, a, there's something about the song Disconnected, which we were making this video for. It's got a kind of, it's got all of those kind of elements in it. It's got a kind of creepiness about it, um, there's a mystery about it, but also a kind of, quite a sort of cinematic quality as well. place called the Della War Pavilion, which is this like Art Deco, beautiful Art Deco building, um, and you know, it's there for sort of exhibitions and now for, for music and gigs and stuff, so um, we just thought it'd be a great place to kind of kick things off, because the Sovereign Night Cafe is just a stone's throw away from it, so, um, you know, it's got a kind of homecoming vibe and also like a reference to the album, so it's, it's, it's a, a perfect place to start. Um, yeah, and we, because we'd been away for a while, you know, we didn't really know what to think, and like the demand for the gig was completely overwhelming. So we're doing two nights, and it'll just be a great way to kick kick things off, I think. <laughs> <laughs> 